I knew that it was a municipality where there's opportunities for growth um, and opportunities for innovation, and that's something that I wanted to do for my portfolio. I think when I'm looking at my role and I'm looking at just how much I've grown over the last couple of years and how I've taken on more responsibilities, I think it's easy for, for me to say that the opportunities are limitless. I tend to get bored quite easily. And over this um, course of these last 20 years, I certainly have never been bored. The benefits are huge for sure. It takes a lot of worry away. It's a nice safety blanket. It's been an incredible journey. It's been a great place to, uh, to spend uh, an entire career, quite frankly. I went from a volunteer firefighter in my home community to my deputy fire chief position today. I started in January of 2001, um, and at the time I started as a strategic advisor to the CAO. And although I've never left the second floor of City Hall, my job has changed a lot. I had the good fortune to work on negotiating the return of Go Train to Barry, something that um, we take for granted today, but that was one of something we didn't have at the time. Another project was um, working with the provincial government and our council to negotiate an expansion of our boundaries in, into the Innisfil area. And the other project that um, really has some significance to me is the creation of our customer service area, Service Barry. Before that, it was kind of requiring residents to be pushed from one place to the next, and now we have a one-stop shop. So I'm really um, proud of that work as, as well. And I think some of those projects show the different things that, that you have exposure to in the city. So I've been with the city of Barrie for a little over three years now. Um, what drove me to apply for this position was because I knew that the city of Barrie was an up-and-coming municipality. I knew that it was a municipality where there's opportunities for growth. Um, and opportunities for innovation, and that's something that I wanted to do for my portfolio. Um, so there was a there was a no-brainer for me to apply for this position and in a field that I love so much. There's areas that I'm still learning, uh, but there's there's that uniqueness of Barry. You know, that it's every day I'm still discovering something new about Barry. I've lived here for I believe 29 years now, and it's uh, the growth has been incredible. I think we have the best waterfront uh, anywhere around. And I got five kids at home, and so we go down to waterfront festivals all the time. I started at the city back in 2000 as a student. The benefits are huge, for sure, with having, well, all the kids, uh, the dental, the health. Uh, it, takes, it takes a lot of worry away. It's a nice safety blanket. Uh, the pension is a very big draw as well. The, the opportunity to actually be with my family is, is high on my list. People talk about work-life balance or creating something that works for you and your family. And because I'm an IT professional, I, I'm afforded the ability to flex my time, work around schedules, and actually own my space and own my time. That really was very critical for me to take this role and sustain the way I've been. The corporation has entrusted me to recruit many, many people on their behalf. And so I've been fortunate enough to, to see uh, individuals as they start their career here and grow their career. I, you know, am starting to think about retirement. I've been with the city uh, for almost 35 years. It's been an incredible journey. In 2009, I was looking to try something different in my career. I went from a volunteer firefighter in my home community to a communications operator with Barry Fire. Then I was successful in obtaining a position at, as a fire prevention officer. And uh, through those ranks, I rose to a chief fire prevention officer, assistant deputy chief of fire prevention and public education, to my deputy fire chief position today.